When you say I am, you are announcing the presence of the living God within you. You are declaring yourself to be. I am that I am. The word that indicates that which you want to be, that which you would like to be. And the second I am means the answered prayer, achievement, fulfillment of your desire or I dream or aspiration. You do not repeat, I am that I am, part-like, not at all. But you feel yourself to be what you long to be. You get interested, fascinated, absorbed in your ideal. It begins to gel in your mind. Whatever is impressed in the subconscious is expressed upon the screen of space. Then comes the cry of victory, you see. The wholeness, the beauty, the perfection, the thing you want it to be. You can say, for example, I am illumined, I am inspired, I am divinely guided, I am made whole. You can live in that atmosphere because whatever you attach to I am, you become. Whatever you attach to I am with feeling, with understanding, you will become that very thing. For example, if you're looking for your true place in life, this is a simple prayer, but it works in a magnificent, wonderful way. Do this. Say to yourself, I am in my true place. I am doing what I love to do. I'm divinely happy. I'm divinely prospered. Say that feelingly, knowingly, and meaningfully. And then the deeper mind will take over and open up all doors for you. Your hidden talents will be revealed to you, the door will open up, and you will find yourself in your true place, meaning you will be expressing yourself at your highest possible level. I am means awareness, being, life principle, unconditioned consciousness. You can say, for example, I am whole, I am perfect, I am vital, I am strong. Take your attention away from your problem, whether it's sickness, lack, limitation, be it what it may. Focus your attention on your ideal, your goal, your objective. Claim yourself to be what you long to be. Rejoice and feed it. And then the old condition will pass away and you will experience the joy of the answer prayer. Now, you can also do this. You can attach negative things to I am. Remember, I want to stress this. Whatever you attach to I am with feeling you become. You can say, I am dumb. I am inferior. I am rejected. I am no good. I am sick. I am frustrated. I am lonesome. I am unhappy. I am poor. All these things will come to pass as you continue to reiterate them because they sink down from your conscious to your subconscious. And just like seeds, they grow after their kind. Therefore, be sure that you do not attach anything to I am that is not noble, godlike, and dignified. Your state of consciousness is what you think and believe. It's what you feel and give mental consent to. All these things are dramatized on the screen of space. Therefore, thoughts are things. What you feel, you attract, and what you imagine, you become. The people down through the ages have looked for the Holy Grail. They've looked for the lost word, the philosopher's stone. And all the time, the word is in their mouth a thousand times a day. It's called I am. Announce it. Pure be the reality of you, the living spirit within you. It was never born. It will never die. Water wets it not. Fire burns it not. Wind blows it not away. Yes, it is the reality of you. It's a wonderful thing to know. It's a marvelous thing to realize. <laughs>